down, chew down. Two bites, speed it out, and that could be tasted in three days. Everything tasted like cotton wool. Oh, you made me on, man. Wait a minute, dude. I have. Yep, we're done. Okay. Come and get it. Hold on, that's the difference around the corner from my wife. You can roast some kind of a Mexican pepper, right? way to church going down buyers and we saw homeless people coming out of the bushes. I asked why who were those people. She asked who were those people and uh, I told her I said honey they're homeless and she got rather upset yeah. and started crying and she said grandma they don't even have a place to go for a cup of coffee or anything to drink or anything. We decided that we would start serving breakfast down there in the mornings, and we loaded up our girls from home and our things from home, and we took it down there and started making breakfast at the park. We we started out the first the first time we did it, we had three people. The next Sunday, like it, seven, then fifteen, then it just you know as word got out. Finally, the weather was getting cold. It was getting cold and it was just too cold for them to sit out there and eat in the cold. And I had happened to come here to the United Methodist Church for a rummage sale that Sandy was having. And I bought all of her blankets. And she's going, why are you buying so many blankets? And I told her what I was doing. And uh, she, I said, we're looking for a place that we can, they can eat indoors. And she said, let me talk to my board. and. She says, we'll see if you can use our fellowship hall. And she talked to the board and gave us the news that we could use the fellowship hall down here at the Methodist Church. And then after that, we started having the breakfast here at the Methodist Church.